And covering Nassau County now, the Fernandina Beach City Commission is expected to vote tonight on a plan to build a new subdivision on land that was originally designated for conservation. Commissioners tabled a vote on the development last month after hundreds of residents let commissioners know they are opposed to that plan. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy joins us this morning live. Jennifer. Good morning. This has been a very hot topic in Fernandina Beach. Many residents who are against the development says that land was designated for conservation and it simply should stay that way. This morning, many neighbors in Fernandina Beach are speaking out against building a new subdivision across from Fernandina High School. It's a sad thing. I really want to try and preserve the natural beauty of the island. Developers started the early phases of construction on the new neighborhood last year, but were forced to stop once the city learned the land was originally designated for conservation. Now it's up to city commissioners to decide if they'll vote to change future land use from conservation to residential use. In February, commissioners voted three to two in favor of making the change. But after hundreds of protesters packed last month's council meeting, commissioners decided to postpone a scheduled vote on the changes. The proposed development backs up to the Egan's Creek Greenway, which many people use to walk and enjoy nature. Many neighbors we spoke with say they want the entire area to stay that way. The Egan's Creek Greenway is, is the, the crown jewel of the nature centerpiece of, of the island. And, and to have 30, 3,700 square foot houses right on the edge with drainage ramps draining into it, it's not going to be a healthy situation for the for the wildlife there. You could go down the little bluff and everything and go through the little wetlands at the bottom of that and explore and it was just a real cool place to get out in nature. There's not a whole lot of places like that left on this island. A place that many neighbors hope city commissioners vote to keep that way. At the last meeting, city commissioners did ask the developers to come up with some sort of compromise. I am told by city officials that we could learn more about those solutions tonight. The meeting is scheduled to start at 6 o'clock. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station. So, Jen, as you mentioned, the land was originally designated as conservation space, and people are wondering if that was the case, why were developers able to break ground last year in the first place? That is something that we did ask city officials and they tell us that the developer was operating under the understanding that there was some sort of mapping error.